Six months later. The red lipstick murder. Murder. <laughs> yes, the I definitely says murder, you absolute idiot. Okay. Love the jacket. Let's get this over before. Oh, it's him again. Clyde Rose of the Homicide Squad has decided to take early retirement. We will all miss Floyd and the steely edge he brought to his police work. The department has arranged a wee drink at the Galway Arms to quench the mighty thirst a man gets from 25 years of police work. Floyd's departure leaves a place at the top table, and the chief has seen fit to promote Cole Phelps from burglary to the homicide desk. Stand up, Phelps. Take a chair. You're in the major leagues now, Sonny. Rusty Galloway, a fine lawman of the old school, will be taking you under his wing. Al Rusty. Your first <coughs> case is the murder of a woman found last night and bearing all the signs of the werewolf. No. Nope. Get out to the scene, lads. The werewolf. I'm gonna miss having Stefan. Clean a desk. Do you have the address? Then all over KGPL. South Temple Street, between Belmont and Glendale. I was kind of hoping we're going to have Stefan for the whole time. Oh well. Oh. Is, is this the whip now? Okay. The Nash Super 600. The other way, peeps, we have a crime scene to get to. So hello everybody, I'm here from the Hammer Game Channel, welcome back to L.A. Noir. It has been a while. Yeah, it's easy to play this because uh, we did have a two-part episode last time, just because that case took a long time for me to do, as well as some mess ups along the way. But anyways, we're back, and with our first case in the homicide department. So hopefully, it's going to go okay. came out calling him the werewolf. The amateur came up from the Black Dahlia. The Black Dahlia? Are closer to catching him? Not a chance. Six months and hundreds of guys running down reefs and got nothing. But this has a Do you know what it means? No, I don't. 90% of murders are domestic. Some guy gets into a beef with his wife and takes it too far. It'll be the same. But cutting someone in half will leave him. Cutting someone in half? Jesus. Out of the way, people. Out of the way! Yes, drop a beef case and get out the fucking way. What's going on here? Oh god. Oh dear. I'll do it! So help me God, I'll jump! You need to get up there. Let me do the talking, detective. I know a ton of this psychology stuff. You need to take the back alley and find a way up there. He knows a ton of all the psychology stuff? I hope so. Yeah, I'm coming. You jumping? Make sure you warm me before you do. I will. Wait. What? That that was not a great start. You rushed. I'll bring you down with you. Now, would you ever really see detectives climbing up a drain pipe onto a building this high? Are, are you crazy? What are you trying to do? Distract you, you fool. I remember my first jumper. Could have soaked him up with a sponge. I still can't eat spaghetti sauce. Shut up, all right? I know what you're trying to do. It won't work. And... I... Is this what you wanted? <laughs> I can't do it. I just... I'll come quietly, just... <coughs> I need some help. Please. 
You gotta get me. <laughs> oh gosh, I mean. What an idiot. You're a danger to yourself and to others. Well, that was that was easy enough. Hmm. Okay, okay. Job done. Job done. Nice wee pat on the back for us there. How was that even a street club crime? Nothing really happened. We saved the guy from committing suicide, of course, which you know is a win. Whoa, sir! I think you ought to calm down. Mind your own goddamn business. Why is everybody always on my case? You're pointing a gun at someone? Oh my days! Is, is that officer still alive? Watch it! Don't give it up, old man! Get the bastard! Y'all dick. Get put down. Oh, there you kill an officer. That's what you get. That's what you get for crossing us. And we need to call it in, of course. Car 11K. Code 4 at Alvera Street, but on an ambulance. Shots fired. The suspect is down. Roger on the ambulance, 11K. All units be advised, code 4 at the Alvera Street Plaza. Right, you drive, Rusty. I'm sick of driving now. There we go. That's much better. I'm not driving that one. I'm not getting our little street crime to deal with. Okay, here we are, the crime scene. Seven minutes past ten in the morning. Our crime scene photographer's already taking some snaps. How about a scoop for the examiner, Galloway? You could use some good press. Another tramp. Oh, another no, message. it's the press. It's the werewolf back in business, boys. You have a mother, asshole? A sister? How about showing some respect for this poor woman? Let us do our job, and Detective Galloway will give you a statement later. He's good, Rusty. He even sounds genuine. That's Phelps, guys. The war hero. Defending the honor of murdered humps. Get used to it, Phelps. Move it along, guys. You got your pictures, you got your headlines. Now scram. You go here, you stupid press. Gosh dang, I thought it was a crime scene photographers. <clears throat> and what have we got? Oh dear, oh dear. Okay, that's gonna need censored. Br brilliant. Brilliant. Patrolman, this your beat? Yes, sir. Well, part of it. Kids park here, they use it like a lover's lane. It's a working neighborhood. Some trouble, but nothing like this. It's uh, known locally as the Moors. You were first on the scene? Yes, detective. No one's disturbed the body? No, sir. We cleared out them vulture reporters so Pinker and the coroner could work. They're waiting to talk to you. Go house to house and see what you come up with. Thank you, officer. Well, that is an interesting footprint what can you we have tell here. me about the shoe prints? Men's size eights. Pinker lifted impressions for me to compare back at the lab. Oh, all right, that, that's what that white stuff is, is to be the powder. Anything else? Oh, we've got something over here. Our handbag. We have a little mirror, I'm presuming. Oh, no, a hairbrush. Clearly didn't do anything. Surely there is something in here. The victim's bag? Looks brand new. Can't be the one used on the body. Hmm. Okay, what else have we got in here? Is that is that all we're looking at? So maybe the brush does have Or maybe it doesn't, maybe it's just there. Well, that was A, so what the hell's B? Oh, we got something here. Is that a wee globe? It's like some kind of puzzle or parlor game. 
It's the world. We've got to match up the world. Right, so that's Africa. And there's the United States and Canada. Here comes Europe and the north of Africa. There we go. Now we just need Central Africa. There's Brazil and South America. Ah, there we go. Oh, there's a specific way to do it. Okay, well, that's the bottom of South America there. Here's the rest of that. And now we just need the rest of the north. There we go. What is inside? Oh. It's a lighter. Bomba Club. Why steal a table lighter? That is not what I was expecting. Okay. <laughs> That really wasn't what I was expecting at all. Oh, 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 we had something here. Something hidden away. It, it's it's rubbish. Really. Not much help. So was that C that we looked at? Yeah, that was C. So let's talk to the coroner now. Hello, mate. Has the scene been secured? Patrolman Houlihan saw to it. The victim's personal effects are still where they fell. The cause of death? Could be the head injuries. She has been badly stomped. The cuts look superficial. What caused the blunt force injury to the face? Could be anything from a baseball bat to a lug wrench. I'll have more details after the autopsy. You poor thing. And also poor me for having to censor the... Interesting. I'm so glad I didn't zoom in any further down there. What about this wound on the finger? Something removed, a ring most likely. I assume it was taken post mortem. Okay, okay. What about her other arm? The writing on the victim mean? BD, <coughs> like Dahlia, X. <coughs> Your guess is as good as mine. Could be something to it, or could be the killers trying to throw you off the scent. Either way, I'll run tests on the lipstick. Any okay. idea of the time of death? From the Nighttime. temperature, I'd say after midnight. I'll confirm mm. with you later. Can we get to the Bamba? Man could die of thirst in a case like this. Yeah, we'll get to the Bamba then, Rust Stations. That's where you want to go. You drive. You drive. I need to go over the case notes. Well, where we... exactly are we going? We're going to the Bamba, where you said we were going. Can you drive to this one? Let's go to the Bamba. The werewolf? For my money, a copycat. We can't rule it out. We need to work the evidence. Yeah. You'd love that, wouldn't you? A big head to hang on your wall. The caller of the decade. You've been working evidence on BD case for six months and got nicked. There's a difference, Rusty. Oh, yeah? I just started working it today. Okay, odd shot. What's more likely? The werewolf comes back around, leaving us unknown in the courts? He clearly has a thing for power. Power over women. Why not power over the police department as well? Let me finish, fellas. The guy opens his mouth again after six months of stooping. For some opportunity, he's been reading about the BD figures, so he'll rip off the ammo and get himself a freebie. That's not totally fantastic. Well, the examiner of the Daily News might be good at coming up with monikers, but they're terrible for police work. There's a reason we didn't get the son of a bitch after the short murder was them, locusts. Where do you think the werewolf killer is now? Uh, dead by his own hand, stationed somewhere else with the armed forces. San Quentin, another town, another country, who knows? So, Phelps, I understand you want to turn this into a big case, but it doesn't work like that, right? A case will come and find you. You can't make it something it ain't. You understand? So you don't think the werewolf has continued to operate in the Los Angeles area? No chance. We have found him. Hmm. Well, we are gonna find him. I right, just gonna go down. We're gonna fight him. We're gonna cuff him, and we're gonna put him in jail, or we're gonna kill him. One way or another, he's going down. He's going down. That's if it is even the werewolf. Oh, 
Bam, it's air conditioned. Ooh, it's got cocktails. Nice. Hey, hey, hey. This was not what I was expecting inside, but I should have guessed it was really something like this. Phelps and Galloway, LAPD. Were you working here last night? Yes. How can I help, officer? By not Let's lying? Your name. Garrett Mason. You're the regular bartender on nights? I'm a temporary barman. I work for an agency. I fell in at bars across town. Do you remember a woman who came in here last night? Uh, five feet seven, about 110 pounds, with blonde hair, about 40 years of age. You mean Celine Henry? Yes. Do you, know yeah, you, just have, you just have a cigar there, yeah. Rusty. But the owner, Mr. McCall, serves him most nights. Would you like to speak to him? I would. He sits at the back of the club. Where's the hibiscus? We can't miss him. Is there anything else? Fire away, Phelps. I'll stay here. I'm a little parched. Pour me of three things of rye. Oh, it's going to be this guy sitting right at this table, isn't it? Hi there, sir. Detective Phelps, LAPD. We're investigating the murder of Celine Henry. Do you know her? Celine? Oh, Christ. Christ. Sure, I know her. She and I and mm, Jacob, her husband, that? we go way back. She was here last night? Sure, she's a regular. Celine is. That was a. Tell me another. Lovely woman. Was Mrs. Henry here with anyone last night? Not at first. Celine already had quite a head start. And she attracted attention? Certainly. A few gentlemen became very enamored with her and her stories. One guy in particular. He's not really looking away or giving me any signs that he's lying, so... You know him? No. He's been in a couple of times. Do they leave together? Yes. At around 11. If it helps, I made the guy's license plate. So he was telling the truth. A waitress. Can I have another spoon? You want a tip? Refill my coffee next time. Why would you take note of the license plate? this be a great plate. help, sir. Thank you. Right, we do have other questions to ask you, so... Mrs. Henry appeared to be missing a ring, torn from her finger, but not her wedding finger. Celine always wore a red garnet ring on the large side. Larger than life, like Celine herself. Well, you could Did see it left a big mark, mark, so... Since way back in her flying days. Did her husband buy it for her? No, it was uh, just before Jacob. Oh, pre-Jacob. Oh. Oh, ho. right. I think you know where the ring came from, and I think you're going to tell me. Okay. I bought it. Yay. Yes. Thank you to whoever commented watching their eyes if they're darting about the room. I can't remember who commented it, but thank you very much. Well, man, never knew about it. Oh, ho, ho. Knowledge of husband. Right. You know the husband? Sure, I know Jacob. He was in the Corps. He met Celine on a furlough and married her when the war was finished. He put up with a load of shit. Oh. Do you think he killed his wife? No. No, not in my opinion. So if it wasn't Jacob, then you probably let her out of here with the guy who killed her. How do you feel about that? Stole the attitude, will ya? No. I tried to get on to Jacob. I rang him up. Asked him to come pick her up, like usual. But... I remember that was refused. right. She picked some night to push him over the edge. I rang him back around 11.30, but... Got no answer. Thanks, Mr. McColl. You've been a big... Three out of three! One Would you have an address for Celine? 142 North Union Avenue. God knows I had to send her home in enough cabs to remember that. Thank you for your assistance. Where's that goddamn police? You want to meet your buddy? Let's get out of here. Hey, hey what's the hurry? My stool was just starting to warm up nicely. Because we have a case to solve? 
I'm just gonna make a quick phone call. Operator, give me dispatch. Putting you through now. Phelps, one, two, four, seven. How can I help, detective? I need a registered owner on a license plate, two boy eight eight nine nine. Yes, detective. I'll need to contact the DMV. Shall I relay the details via KGPL? Please. Thanks for your help. Mate. I'll get back to this soon. Anyway.